Welcome to Optics Planet. Today, we're gonna to show you how to pack a hunting bag. There are two main challenges when packing a hunting bag. The first is knowing what to pack, and the second is how to pack it. What you need to pack depends on the type of game you're hunting and the type of hunting bag you're using. For this trip, we're only heading out for a few hours, so we're just gonna make sure to take the essentials. When you're selecting gear, you'll wanna cover your basic needs for hunting and survival. Hunting gear is the stuff you need to hunt and harvest game. Survival gear is the stuff you will need to keep you alive in the field. For hunting gear, there are four main categories that you want to cover to ensure a successful and legal hunt. First up, you'll want documentation like hunting licenses and tags. Carry whatever you need to comply with the law, otherwise you could face fines or even criminal charges. Next up is paracord, a general purpose item that you'll end up using more than you'd think. It's great for tying stuff down or hanging stuff up or just making something easier to grip. Next on the list is meat or game processing. You should include a package of gear that includes a fixed blade knife, field dressing gloves to keep your sleeves and arms clean when you're quartering your kill, game bags for storing meat, and gun gear like ammo and cleaning supplies. How much ammo you'll need to bring with you depends on the type of game you're hunting. For big game like deer or elk, you should only need about a dozen rounds or so. But almost everything else, small game, varmints, birds, you'll want to bring up to 50 rounds or shells. You might want other stuff depending on what game you're hunting. Things like a spotting scope, scents, lures, game calls, rangefinders can all be helpful. For our needs, we're just bringing a pair of binoculars. Now that we've discussed the hunting gear, let's talk about survival gear. There are 10 essential categories. These include navigation, GPS or an old fashioned map and compass. You might be able to use your phone if you can get a signal, lights, a headlamp or a flashlight, plus extra batteries. Protection, bug spray and sunblock. A first aid kit. You'll want to be prepared for a minor scrape, but since you're handling firearms, you should bring along a trauma kit. Tools and knives. In addition to the fixed blade, you'll want a pocket knife as well, and possibly a multi-tool. A fire starter. We have pyro putty, which comes in little canisters, and you can light it with this intense lighter. You should also bring some matches in a dry case, just in case. Water. You'll want to keep it light, so bring a hydration pack or a water bottle and a filter. Food. Bring a little more than you need. We're preparing for a few hours, so a light snack should be fine. Emergency clothing. You should be dressed for the season, but you'll want to be prepared for the extremes. In most cases, this equates to rain gear, like a poncho, an emergency blanket, and possibly some hand warmers. For overnight or multi-day hunts, bring shelter like a tent or a bivy. Now that we've collected all our gear, let's talk about the best way to pack it. The challenge here is that there's a lot of essential gear, but a limited amount of space inside the bag. The goal is to maximize the space with efficient packing techniques. Before you pack your bag, loosen all the straps as far as you can and unzip the main compartment as much as you can. Then layer your gear by weight and priority of access. Put bulky items like extra clothes or your shelter at the bottom, medium weight stuff in the middle, and heavier stuff on top. As you pack, minimize the items as best you can. You can do this by removing air pockets in bags, rolling up clothes, and using small items to fill gaps. Lastly, put essential items in the other pockets of your bag. This is stuff you'll need to access quickly, like a flashlight, ammo, or a first aid kit. As you pack larger bags, keeping the weight towards the top will help maintain that balance and save your lower back during the longer hikes in the field. And that's how you pack a hunting bag. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out more content and great deals at opticsplanet.com.